Welcome to Forever Exile, the Path of Exile podcast. I am Justin, a.k.a. Tags. And I'm Tyler, Wrecker of Days. You flew in there. You're ready to yeah, go. Just, just giving her. We are in episode 25. What? Episode 25. That's like, that's like a quarter of a thousand. Yeah, a quarter of something. It's like a quarter. Oh. Yeah. Pretty awesome. That is Pretty awesome. Fun. It's, been, it's been a real ride. A real Special. ride, as they say. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Like putting my hand up to the monitor to feel you through the prison screen as we speak. Yeah. You're killing your audio as soon as you do that. Don't do it ever again. <laughs> 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 how's your week what'd you do what's new let's, oh, let's wrap man it was a crazy week um well hey we played for the first time in forever a non path of exile game together because we were playing with other people right yep. and it's been forever so we played red dead 2 red and dead it online been, so, it's apparently different. right Right, totally different. Right, 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 right. <laughs> and and we played it on a console. I, that part killed me, but yes, we did. <laughs> it's pretty funny seeing your name pop up on my Xbox tags. And uh, so can I just remind everyone who's playing on console, your load times are the worst thing about go- console gaming ever. Oh man! Okay, like that so time Red to Dead get into the 2. world. Oh, <laughs> I get so Red much work done just waiting for the game to load. <laughs> hey, you put it this way though: Poe has a pretty long load time at the beginning. It's nothing compared to what you saw with Red Dead. Nothing compared to oh, Red you mean Dead. in console? Yeah, on console. Okay. But anyway, it was fun to play with you on console. Um, and Red Dead's load times are so long. It made me laugh about Madden's load times, which I've always criticized EA's load times. And even POE's is pretty long, as I just mentioned. But anyway, you asked about my week. Here's my week. Monday, dark, uh, Red Dead 2. Tuesday, Red Dead 2, right? Hanging out with friends. When, Wednesday, Divinity 2, hanging out with friends. Thursday, Dark Souls 2, hanging out with friends. Tonight, podcast. So all my uh, POE time guide replies, 6 a.m. Just to make sure I could get it in because evenings are busy. They're jam-packed now. Jam-packed with video games. <laughs> well, yeah, but it's hanging out, man. Awesome. It's just different what you do now, right? It was but, actually fun playing games with people who I don't normally play video games with. Like we had the only reason that I got it was because we had a larger group of our friends that wanted to play yeah. and they're all yeah. sucked and stuck on xbox so i had to dust <laughs> mine off and pull it out uh, but that yeah. was the only reason but it was fun to play with uh people who weren't yeah, you was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well i made sure i shoved my face in every now and then but it's funny like uh, when i broadcast on mixer because that's what the o- o- only cool people broadcast so mixer, on mixer just for most of you just so you know <laughs> it's an alternative to twitch that very very few people use it's mostly garbage but it's Microsoft and Tyler has an affinity for them. Like affinity, the only person ever to last forever on a Windows phone. <laughs> <laughs> I wish they still had them here. But anyway, I, I normally broadcast only POE, right? I like to, for the three people that like to sure. watch me, I like so to pretend consistent. that I'm only POE, right. right? And if I'm playing something else, I normally don't broadcast it. Okay. Well, Normally, when I look at my past broadcast sections, like Mixer, just like Twitch, saves your last 14 days automatically of broadcasts, and then okay. they auto expire unless you choose to save them. Um, normally, I'll have about 10 broadcasts in there, all POE. Uh, when I loaded it up the other day just to broadcast for maybe an hour before I was doing some Dark Souls, I had two Path of Exile broadcasts. What have you been in the broadcasting? Last two weeks, nothing. Oh, I'm just. You know, we're hanging out all my hangout times now, game time, and it's with other people. So you like don't I broadcast should, you those, know. have you? No, 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 no. Well, I like to do the 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 Dark Souls one. Sure. Uh, our buddy Ian and I, we we have the compilation. There's like I think we're on like our fiftieth like hangout Thursday night of just the new game plus parts of our playthrough. So it's a lot of fun. But anyway, I really miss POE. It's like two times in the last two weeks is brutal. I. I might just start broadcasting everything I do just to just to pretend that it's POE. But anyway, it's been busy. Tell me about your week. Tell me about your week. Work, one wheel, Red Dead. (laughs) 
<laughs> is is one wheel a video game? You're not doing like athletic stuff, are you? No, but I'm kind of a superstar. Kind of a superstar. <laughs> no, it's fun. I it was very very busy for work. It was everything's kind of like in that state right now, figuring out like how do you adjust to some places wanting to open and some people not yeah. wanting people to open and trying to keep everybody happy. And then the one wheel to get out of my house and away from mm-hmm. my kids. And then. Oh, and I went on some some long rides, so Aye. pretty awesome. Uh, and then I did play some Path of Exile, and then a lot of Red Dead. That game is fun, and I know it's like I don't even know how old it is. It's probably pretty old. Like online's just, only a year old. Is that right? Okay. Yeah. Well, it's fun. It's it, I know a hundred percent. I hope none of our friends listen to this podcast. I know one hundred percent, and you even called me out for it like yesterday. I'm going to hit it hard, super hard, and there's no way this lasts more than two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I give you two weeks. I'm yeah. giving you two weeks. <laughs> two See, for weeks. those that don't, that aren't used to hanging out with Justin for a lifetime, um, prior to the, the, the years where you used to like have a sleepover and you would rent a Nintendo 64 from the video store and you would play, I don't know, like a basketball game all night long or something like that prior to those days once like you know i had to stop bringing my computer over to his house for a land party for age of empires oh oh, we had a good day oh yeah 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 battle for middle earth anyway prior to those days now now that gaming's kind of been like this for the last decade justin goes hard on a game what do you mean prior to those games don't you mean after like well like because you didn't have the opportunity Okay. Right, like you're renting a 64 once every two weeks or something. So you mean like that, after right? that? Yeah, once you're when, prior means once, before. Oh yeah, yeah. I did use the wrong word, but anyway, I don't whatever. know what the word no. is to be honest. <laughs> Post since, that time, since yep. anyway, Justin goes crazy hard on a game. He'll like just nail it, crush it. We'll be playing Dragon's Dogma sort of kind of together because you can't really play together, but you can. He'll be like crushing the end game, and I'm partway through my first campaign, and then all of a sudden. He's sick of it as soon as I get to end game, but he crushes his game. So I'm excited to see. I'm excited. New games to see for me like. are like the first two weeks of POE. Mm-hmm. Like for me, I know we've talked about it every league. Like, oh, let's make a character and level together. And then you're like, all right, cool. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep now tonight. And I'm like, okay, sure. And then <laughs> <laughs> totally not waiting for you. See you in end game. Not waiting for you at all. So it, yeah, Red Dead Online is a lot of fun. It's a total grind. So I just see myself. It is fun. I'm still having a ton of fun. I have not laughed so hard as I did that first night we played with with our group of friends in a long yeah. time from just something absolutely stupid. I was explaining it to my wife and even she was like laughing at the stuff I was talking about, but like saying you're an idiot because I'm like, oh. I was laughing about the dumbest, absolute dumbest stuff. It was so much just- fun. Justin got one of our posse uh, posse members drunk in game and then killed him and oh, like, threw his him. body around. He oh just yeah, mutilated yeah. his body. It was hilarious. <laughs> but otherwise, my week but, was good. I yeah, it it's was a money good. hungry game, isn't it? Like I, that's one thing. It, I I was thinking so much about Path of Exile while we're playing like this Bethesda and this Red Dead and this Ubisoft, just like money grabbing like really on the verge of pay to win, but definitely pay to play, even though you've already paid for the initial game, the extra currency, the real money you can put in. I just, I fell in love again with Path of Exile's completely free aspect. Like every, like Delve is free. Alva's free. I know you hate Alva, but like every aspect of the Greek game is totally free. And every time I play a game like Red Dead, it just emphasizes how great the structure is for Path of Exile. Yeah, my, my argument towards them is the fact that I paid a lot of money for the game up front and I do not Red have, Dead. Yeah. I do not have yeah. I don't have like a, a huge problem with them having the secondary currency that it is required, but you earn it way too slow for it to be yeah. the gate behind for, for content. It's not like it's just unlocking some extra fun stuff from what I've read. Cause I don't know it a ton like their most recent one, this uh, moonshine one, it, it actually opens up a whole new story. And your only way to get that is with an amount of these gold bars that would require you to play quite a long An time, insane amount of time before you would unlock. So 
yeah, it's it's definitely a pay to play game. You can play it. Well, yeah, you can pay it. You can play it by just buying the base game, but you will miss out for sure on some of the stuff, especially if you're not playing with people who have yeah, uh, paid to unlock some of that stuff. Well, what's the most downvoted Reddit post in history? It's EA responding to their opinion as to why, what was it, loot boxes in one of their Star Wars games, online Star Wars games, why they think it's a fair balance between it's not pay to win. It's yeah, yeah but that was just was. stupid they, to respond. Uh, you well, know, uh, Red Dead and my point is, is the attitude of people that play. They know it's money hungry. Like yeah, you could have it. it cheaper. They're right? You could with. You don't like it, but people are playing it. So, like the thing well, it's is, changed. Well, no, the thing is, if if people go on to Bethesda's Reddit and complain about it knock yourself out what to me is a problem from a company standpoint is when you try to justify why you've charged that you're in trouble ea tried to do that they never should have tried to do that they should have just been like you're right like don't say anything but no in your meetings like "Uh uh-huh we're getting paid we're gonna make money and you don't like it so don't play it instead of being like hey guys let me try to explain to you why we're taking your money (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Bethesda didn't do At that a crazy ratio compared to what you can earn. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. I, but I, I, a game is more than, I feel like they're more than free to try and do whatever they can to make money. It's up to you whether you're going to play it or not. Jesus, you know how much money people spend on mobile games. It's disgusting. So, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't really have a problem with it in the sense that if I choose that I'm going to drop 14, 15 bucks here and there, that's up yeah. to me. And I yeah. just have to s- accept the fact that I did it for, 20 gold bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know how much money Electronic Arts makes every year just on the ultimate team modes that FIFA, NHL, and Madden have? They literally, just with those that, just with those microtransactions, get over a billion dollars every year. So people pay it, obviously. Yeah, and, and the games are horrible. I really wish they didn't. But anyway, back to this week, I did get some POE time. Yep. But it wasn't me. I let my son play. Well, he my daughter too when yep. she wants to. Mm-hmm. And um, he's actually better than you. How old is he? <laughs> he is. <laughs> <laughs> he's young. <laughs> uh, he's he's starting kindergarten next year. Yep. And basically, you know, like I like normal when I when I get my maps when my red maps drop. I like white maps or rare maps. I don't I don't want a magic map because I have to waste a scouring on it to make it normal and then I can craft it. Right. So I basically save all of my magic maps for him. So he was doing, but it's funny because he's five years old and all of my builds that I make are one button builds. So this kid's going through a T 15 magic T 15, totally fine. Yep. Totally fine. Having a great time. He wants to do the fire character. He wants to do the ice star character and that's how they call them, but they love it. I want to do the spinny character now. And then my daughter wants to play too. So I got some POE time, but it wasn't me. That's awesome. So, I've seen him yeah. play, and he is definitely better than you. <laughs> he like it's, he's amazing for five years old. Knows like the enemies and the bosses, not only oh just in that God. game, but across no, many games. No, I have to ask him what some of the mini like. So there's a boss on the way to not to Zara. Okay, hang on. In at three, four, you know the bosses that you have to. There's Calm's area, and then yeah, oh, Dereso. Dereso. You remember what the boss's name is on the way to Doreso in the first half of his section? No, I not don't. A clue. I've never but my even son seen does, it. and I have to ask my five-year-old <laughs> what his name is because he's pretending to be him outside. He grabs two hockey sticks and he's spinning because the guy uses cyclone, yeah, right? Yeah. He's spinning around. And he's like, "Hey, Dad, I'm this guy. Check this out!" And he spins, and that's awesome. Anyway, so I saved my magic maps for him and her. But Sweet. Anyway, oh, 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 I know totally on the same subject. Remember when you were making fun of me for not knowing how to s- pronounce my own ascendancy in my guide? I would say Chieftain because yeah. that's how it's spelled, but it's actually Chieftain. And which I feel like really I stupid. let that go for like 24 episodes before finally saying something. <laughs> I wish somebody would have. <laughs> I haven't known. I'm glad I have to type it out in guide responses um, so nobody knows I said it wrong. But but I say Hearthstone, right? In that episode, I said Hearthstone, and you said it's supposed to be Hearthstone, but it's not. Well, you, you can send do the whole me a message Google thing right now. I Googled it. I don't care what Google says. Ah. <laughs> you know what? Anyway. If you want it to be Hearthstone, remove the E. 
All right. Well, if you wanted it to be Chief Tin, remove the A. How do you... <laughs> So this you week, call, in hold on. POE, Who is who's the leader of a hockey team or a basketball team? Is it the captain? Nope. No, but that word's just as stupid. It's the but it's because a, I'm a big sports fan, how did you ever I get know, tain? Like, I'm just curious. What? Because I never thought of the word captain when I was reading <laughs> chief. You're like, ooh, a chief captain. Captain. Like but when you're looking, if you don't know English and you're looking at the word captain, you're going to say captain or captain. Have you ever heard captain? Never. Never. No. Oh, no, but I've heard chieftain everywhere. Yeah, oh, chieftain. oh, shoot. I said it wrong. <laughs> you've never Damn heard it. chieftain. There's no way you've ever Doesn't heard chieftain. Matter. I am so. Listen, this concussion uh, stuff is yeah, brutal. Blame the okay? concussion the stuff. other day, I was rewriting my guide and I went through a whole guide and I control F the word any and I corrected it to E N Y, submitted it, and then <laughs> was looking at it and I'm like, Why? wait. Because that's what it's like in my head. Oh, don't that's blame what I, that. Don't blame the concussion stuff. That's just you. Whatever, man. <laughs> that's awesome. So anyway, this I week in POE. That. People are like, hey, <laughs> the hell is, I can't play this guy's Somebody bills. Somebody <laughs> asked me what my native language was once because I wasn't <laughs> typing properly in a response. <laughs> oh, it's English. It's English. I promise. French, Portuguese, and Ukrainian are very distant seconds. That's amazing. All right, so let's get into this week of Path of Exile. We had uh, some fun stuff. We had patch notes come out. Uh, what are we in F? 3.10.1F mm-hmm. is the patch that came out this week. A big, big one. I love it again. It's a lot of bug fixes. Uh, uh, well. you, it's the same as last time. I can read through these, and there's not a ton that is going to like directly affect me. Uh, but I love that there's so many things in here that I'm sure are helping a lot of people who are struggling with something or where something wasn't working right. I'm just going to hop on to the couple that I really, really liked. Sure. They're fixing a ton of the map bosses now so that the immunity phases don't, uh, so the delirium will actually pause. Yep. Uh, I, it is a good fix. It's a necessary fix. Probably doesn't have a huge impact on many things that I can think of where I've run into that issue. But I mm-hmm. also hate the base version of Delirium, so I don't rush it to the boss anyway. Well, I've yeah. talked about it before. I don't care what changes they make to it. I don't like it. It's a it's a super speed meta function. There's And you'll never, ever get around that the way that it's made, the way that it's set up, and I don't like it. I love the Delirium affected maps with the orbs and i love simulacrum i do not like the the delirium in the map so this doesn't have a huge effect on me because i'm not rushing simulacrum simulacrum uh simulacrum. so that was that was one thing that i think is great that they did but i honestly couldn't care less and then uh both of us thought this was awesome the loot allocation change now again mm-hmm. it's nice we're pretty much on top of it just because we've played together quite a bit So both of us tend to have that set properly, but it is nice to be able to just change it on the fly so that explain what it is. So when you play in a group, which not a whole lot of reason to do in Path of Exile still, unfortunately, but when you play in a group, you can choose how the loot is allocated. So back in the day when we used to play poe before this even existed everything was just free for all so the faster your build the further ahead you could be of everybody else the better loot you'd get because you just pick it up first that was just free for all that's how it used to work it was a bit uh, people were on both sides when they changed that some people didn't like that that change was coming in some people really wanted it to come in because uh, unless you played the very very fast builds in a group that was running at the front you really were not getting very good drops Unless you were in a group that was actually sharing it. Uh, so then they brought in loot allocation. So where you could, there were two op- two options really besides free for all. Uh, one is short allocation and one is, is it, per- I think it's called permanent allocation. So what that means is when an item, if Tyler and I are in a map together and an item drops and it's supposed to drop for his, for him to pick up. Permanent means that it will not change unless he leaves the map. It will stay his pickup. I can't touch it. It'll be grayed out to me. Uh, short allocation, I think it's 10 seconds. It might even be shorter than that. It's somewhere around there uh, yeah. where he can pick it up for 10 seconds before it becomes available to everyone to pick up. 
and the way it used to work up until this patch was if you had it on permanent allocation and an item dropped for Tyler and let's say he didn't want it, but I did want it. I could not pick it up until he left the map, left the area, then it would unlock it. But I also couldn't change the loot to short and have it take effect right at that moment. I, it wouldn't take effect until we loaded the next zone. So when we got into yeah. the next area, it would change over to short or vice versa, whatever you wanted. So now, in other just, words, it was just really annoying if you didn't have the loot filter set the way you wanted to in a party, and then you had to wait that whole instance or that whole map to the loot allocation change it to your preference, right? Your yeah. loot, your loot preference, yeah. Yeah. So it's just nice that now you can just do that on the fly. Uh, I'm kind of curious how that works if, like, if somebody can use that to screw somebody out of something. I mean, if something drops. I guess as soon as it's available to everybody, changing the the loot allocation type wouldn't have any effect. It would just stay open to everybody. So probably not. But it's it's a yeah. nice it's a nice thing so that if something drops, uh, instead of you having to pick it up and drop it for your friend or whatever or trade it, mm -hmm. you can just change the allocation type. Uh, it's a cool fix. I like it. That's my yeah. those are my favorite things in the actual notes. Was there anything that stood out to you in the patch notes? Uh, I'm. Honestly, I'm just impressed that they are making their patch notes are this big at like this point of the league. Like it's what, six weeks now? We're directly halfway through. I think we're going to start getting our teaser announcements in a couple of weeks for 3.11. And it's like they're big. They're good fixes. There's quality of life fixes. It's not just crash fixes. You know what I mean? Like six mm -hmm. weeks after the Christmas break, you're still dealing with like big crash issues. Whereas here it's just... It's a lot of fine tuning. It's a lot of details. And uh, let me speak to the majority of people here, right? Who cares about PC? It's all about console. But but console now got their update one day after PC, which is crazy. And it's, it's you you hush. You so wipe that stupid. smile off your face. No, it's not because they yes, in there they came up with a lot of good quality of life stuff. They're changing button interactions with menus and the legends so they're making it a lot better they're adding better search functions and i hate you you wipe that off your seriously people if you could see his face in the camera you would, would look know exactly how like 99 percent of the people listening to this podcast 99 percent of the people are console filter lovers and you shove it anyway <laughs> uh, I, I thought it was a cool patch cool i just love that they're the still best. putting so much into it for sure i love it i love it so i think they they're very well balanced in addition to uh, the patch notes, they had a couple other things come out. I'm just going to pop onto the things that I noticed and then you do whatever you want. Uh, they had two new hideouts come out. Did you see them? So Doreso. I saw the. Go ahead. One looks like Doreso's arena and the other one looks like Catava's arena. I saw Catava. I didn't see the Doreso one. Was that the same post? No, separate one. It was okay. called the Champions hideout. Uh, okay. I. I. I don't like them. I think I they're you remember uh uh who's the other one? The, the, it's not Doresos, but the uh Calms. They released his, I think, last league. Yeah. And it was like that tiny circle. Yeah. It and they're that maybe I don't know. I guess people might like those little small ones. I I do. I like the small ones. Why? Uh because I only even in the big ones, like my per, my favorite one is Lush. Or even what was Katarina's? What's that one called? I know the ones you're talking, but those are like triple the size of these ones. Right. Even with those ones, I just basically, okay, here's where like my Atlas lawyer. table is going to be. This is where my map thing. And now my NPCs are going to be around here. I didn't look at what they cost, but I hope they're less money than some of the big ones. Because mm. they're, yeah, yeah. I just think they're dumb and small. There's no like, <laughs> there's no like secondary areas or... Mm, it's, yeah. I just feel like it's really hard to be creative in those. And if all you want yeah. is a small one, then just go to like, I can't remember what the the old Leo yeah. one was or whatever. I don't know. There's just, there's small ones that you get for free. Mm -hmm. I, I guess I do like, I, I still build small, you know, sections of whatever hideout I'm doing, but I do like the big ones because then I can choose which section I'm going to start building it. So I do like that part, I guess. I do like the small ones. The The theme of them doesn't interest me for these ones, but I do really like the small ones. I'm really excited to get the tower one. That one's itty bitty. 
but it has a secondary room, which is or like you literally start in a spot where you have to click to get up that but you can move the waypoint so it's fine i guess i i need something that is big that other people can use their creative creativity to build <laughs> so that i can <laughs> yeah. steal it and when people come to my hideout they'll be like wow it's awesome i'm like yeah well it's not mine but uh, thank you i need a big house so someone else can clean it oh that'd be amazing or design <laughs> it and like just do all the work it'd be awesome yeah wait are you That's mocking cool. me what? No, no, I don't block you. Like Respect, you. right? Respect. No way. Respect. <laughs> Double X square. <laughs> and then they also came out with, you know how I have this little, um, small little pathetic pretend, but not real. <laughs> I mean, I didn't, but uh, all right. I deserve it. That, I, I delayed too long. That was Go good. Ahead. You I, have a um, tiny what? No, you know how I'm. I don't like Celestial, even though it's cool, but for some reason I hate it because they came out with too much. Because other people like it, right. Right. So they came out with another Celestial, but it's awesome because it's a shield skin, but it's a new Celestial. It's called the Infernal Celestial. Oh, I did not see that. Infernal Celestial. What the heck does that mean? Because Celestial is like like in the sky. Yeah, so I didn't really see sky stuff. Oh, this shield saw- looks exactly like the other celestial. This one's just on fire. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I have the other one, like the original. So now it's celestial. like they're they're. So now are they I just going to re-release all their celestial cigars. ones? That's right. They're going to have like ice like celestial. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Anyway, hmm. did you see the post about all their pets? Remember, they had a post about their workspaces, right? Because COVID's making a lot of the team work at home now. I did. So did you see, you saw the post where they were showing their workspaces. Did you see the post where they're showing their pets? I, you mentioned in the last episode or two that you're a big, big pet fan. Yeah. So now I will say that I saw the post. I opened the post, did not give a shit and closed it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a huge you would love it. Yeah, freak. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. As soon as my dog, which I absolutely love, as soon as my dog dies, I'll mourn whenever it's done. I'm getting another dog as soon as I can, as soon as I'm allowed. We are so the anyway, opposite. <laughs> we are. Hey, you want to take our dogs for a walk six <laughs> feet apart? Um, it was it was interesting, though. Almost all of them are cats. They must work really long hours at GGG and can't get dogs because yeah, of long birds hours. too. Yeah, there's a couple birds, a parrot. I like the I husky. Remember, I, had a, husky. I had a parrot for a little bit in a place that I lived for a little. It was pretty cool to have a parrot. I can feel like you can't like say anything out loud because it'll get repeated somewhere. We had a dog, cats, and birds growing up. Yeah. We had a lot of yeah. pets. Yeah. Not yep. me. If I could get rid of this <laughs> dog, I would do it in a heartbeat. You only have 12 more years to go. But oh, there was okay. one person. And the, the reason that I, the, this person, they had seven cats. Oh my God, and, why? And oh, I wrote down two dogs, but it's two ducks. They had seven and cats and two player. ducks? Yeah, and I, they're just like all individual pictures, all, and they, I love how, they, like some people put a lot of thought into their names. Some people don't. I loved how this person, one of the cats was named Cuddle Guy, just Cuddle Guy. I absolutely, it made me laugh so hard. And then the two ducks' names were Perry and his minion. No. The other duck was actually named his minion. I his absolutely, minion. Okay. oh my goodness, I laughed and laughed. That's Perry and his minion. Oh my goodness, it, it made me laugh. I would get along with that person. I forget if it was me, boy, bro, but I, I would. Do I, you think the so the name friends. is actually his minion? Yeah. The the ducks. It's Perry and his minion. What the heck happens when Perry runs away or dies? Well, his minion needs a new Perry. You get a new Perry. Every minion needs a Perry. Mm. Goodness me, it's like it's like you've never played a minion build before. Come on. Well, that's cute. Whatever. Moving on. I saw the animals. It's cool that they have them. I'm, I I actually think, and I think I remember reading too, that like the uh, shelter adoption rates of animals is like sky high. Like mm. people mm. have adopted animals and stuff, which is great because it probably helps you through this. But I hope people remember <laughs> that this will end it's, and you have now taken decade. on a responsibility. Yeah. Yeah. So oh, that's cool. Uh, I liked Reddit this week. Lies. Yeah. Lies. No. You're on drugs or something, man. You're high. I don't post on Reddit anymore because I'm not allowed to. Uh, That's not true. Yeah, I just <laughs> I, it gets, I, I get in trouble every single time. And so I've just stopped doing it. But I read it. I would say I probably read the POE Reddit almost every single day. 
And this week was actually enjoyable to read. It was mostly people just chatting about the game, talking about, I mean, some of the stuff people craft in this game is disgusting. But <laughs> in an amazing way. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Really good. I mean, yeah, you'd be weird to post like something that wasn't. But uh, no, it was good. It was a good week of Reddit. I I didn't feel like I was listening to very many 12 year olds crying about things. It was like, I don't want to use the word positive, but it was like upbeat. It was having fun. People enjoying different parts of the game, whether they're, you know, fully on board with delirium or not, or some of them may even be taking a break, but people just seemed in a relatively positive, I will use that word, I guess, a uh, positive mood. And it was, it was enjoyable to read a different version of Reddit for a little bit. Cause yeah. sometimes it gets toxic and it just drives me crazy. Yeah. It was good though. Hmm. I was reminded on Reddit and through our discord and private message. There were a lot of people that were helpful and I want to thank everybody for letting me know because it's better to know. And, uh, but last week when I was having my little vent for my poor experience with Cyrus, my awakened mm-hmm. awakener level, what was it, six? Yeah, I was like Cyrus. That. I was, I was made known of two things that I complained about that were in a, uh, incorrect or I, I just didn't know of, but you can lower the, this is for people that don't know. Maybe they haven't fought Cyrus before. It is Cyrus, right? Serious. No, it's not serious. Serious Snape. Seriously now. So when you're fighting Cyrus, no matter what the awakening level is when you spawn him, you can remove all of your watchstones and it will lower the awakening level for the sake of the fight that you're going to. So if you did want to practice getting better at Cyrus, like I want to, even if you are close to a million watchstones you can remove them all and there are a million so you just have to remove them before you spawn his portal before you choose to fight him right and he'll be at lower awakening level and you can practice it which is nice i'm definitely going to be doing that a lot and you you can't do that with the conquerors you're stuck with their difficulty level but that's that's that should be fine you should be well versed in trying to beat them at a higher awakening level anyway and then there was also the floating state, that invulnerability phase that I was talking about. Yep. Um, a couple people mentioned to me that if you go under him, it ceases it right away. So I, I was having a hard time. I was like, I was trying to learn him. And as for, for a lot of the battles, I try and keep my distance as I'm trying to learn and see what they do. And so his invulnerability phase when he's high in the air lasted a long time for me, not knowing this. So when he, when Cyrus is in the air and you can't touch him, if you run right underneath him, apparently that ends that phase quite quickly. He comes back down, starts fighting. So it's good to know for anyone who's curious about how the battle works or those two little things. And now, you know, so while we're on the subject of portals, remember, um, was it last episode that we were talking about portals or the one before? Uh, it was last um, week because they yeah. announced uh, league portals for right. sale. Right. So I was hoping that they were going to release a whole bunch, like all the old portals, the league portals that you could buy. Like they started releasing the most recent ones, right? I think, what was it, like two of the la- or three of the last four leagues they released last week? Mm-hmm. So I was thinking, oh man, wouldn't that be awesome if they went back and for every league that they had a portal that they released it and you could buy it. I would immediately buy the breach one. When you I have that when I when I'm mapping with you and I see that hand reaching up, oh my goodness, I, that is one of my favorite ones. It doesn't match anything that I have, and probably no themes that would interest me, but I just love it. I get so excited. Breach is one of my favorite mods that can roll on a map, and I, I just absolutely love the hand. It, it suits a portal. You know what I mean? This hand that like grabs you and pulls you. I think in. it was a challenge reward too. I think it was one of the few portals that I got through challenges. I think. I think it's my tallest trophy breach. Like when you if you if you put your trophies oh, yeah, in your yeah, base, yeah, yeah. Whatever, your, I think that's what are, they, is it, are they trophies? Yeah. I ignore them. I, I ignore challenges. They're they called look, trophies. They look the awesome. Totems. No, they're totems. I'm pretty no. sure it's called a trophy. We can tell how much we care. Yeah. <laughs> it's a totem <laughs> you trophy. You go into these hideouts and they have like the, the completed totems or yeah. trophies. I can't do that. Mine would all be tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have one. I think I have one. Yeah. Okay. So there was, this is more, I guess, more. It, well, we'll both chat about it, but the, you had kind of brought this up 
and I wanted to bring it in a, in a different way. And the reason that I'm actually, it came up for me is uh, Ethan sent me a video this week that I watched and it was talking about some of the, you know, most popular third party uh, add-ons, uh, tools, things that you can use when you're playing Path of Exile. And so he was curious how many I had heard about and if I use any. And I want to say there were six, five or six of them in this particular video. And I have, tr- I, I use at least two of them. And I think I had tried three of them in total, three or four. And I am curious, actually, just based on some of the things that I've read that you wrote notes wise, do you like third party tools in Path of Exile? Do I like them? Yes. Do you like them? And I guess, do you use them? And I guess, do you think they're necessary? Are there ones that you could not do without? There are two third party tools that I don't think this game could live without. The rest, I think, are optional. There are two that I actually think it needs. Okay. The wiki is one of them. So the do, you, wiki do you consider a wiki a third so party much, tool? Yeah, I do, because GGG doesn't update it. Like they have, okay. they have a link to the official wiki, but they're not touching it. Sure. As far as I know, like they're not going in and editing things and making sure it's correct. There's stuff that I I know in the past. I don't know how up to date it is now, but I know there's stuff in the past where it's wrong and I've edited it to update it because this and that were wrong with a few things. Okay. And so, and, and the, like, there's so much information on the wiki. Of course, all wikis are like that, but there's a lot of information missing in Path of Exile itself. Like very basic things, but that need that somebody needs to know. Basic things like, for example, fire penetration is based on hits. That's not anywhere in the gem description, as far as I remember. Uh, so, yeah, and, I don't know. And, and then so but anyway, the wiki needs the wiki is one of them. And then filters is another. I think if GGG cared or I don't know if cared because I have no idea how much effort they put into it, but there's one default filter that they actually put out. Yep. And the second you get into end game, it's terrifying to look at. Well, keep in mind too, that default filter didn't exist until just recently. Right. Prior it's, to that, there was like, none. And if to not have a third party tool, on the third party filter and play this game. I don't think I, like it's my favorite game on earth. But if I had to look at that amount of loot all the time, I wouldn't be able to. You can't even fight with that much loot. Right? We well, used to. Right. It was it right. was hitting Z or Z a lot so that right. you wouldn't see it because it would pop up. Okay, so um I let me ask you this then because there's definitely way more than those two, but let's take those two in particular. Are you fine with those being necessary to play the game or in in your opinion like would you i don't think any game should need any third party tool so i think the filter you should have decent not not perfect but you should have decent filter options it may be even two or one that progresses but it it should be their default filter should be okay to use and it's not and it's not. And the wiki is 100% required to know anything important about which supports are valuable. There's, there's just not enough information in the game or in the help section. I think you need them, and I don't think that's right. So I'll counter them a little bit, your opinions. The wiki, to me, is not a big deal because that's like it for any big game. Mm-hmm. I actually would hate if GGG went about providing all of the information in-game. I don't, I don't want to see it. I think I like that some of the stuff you have to figure out on your own. I understand mm-hmm. what you're saying in some sense of like actually understanding how things are going to work. But I don't have a problem with that. I, I think any big game, like I, there, I can't think of very many games that are as big in the sense of like your, the number of skills, the number of points on the tree the variance of builds, I can't think of very mm-hmm. many games that have that mm-hmm. that amount. And to have that all in game is just too much. And the wiki to but you me, don't have all of the wiki in the game. Well, but I, I guess it's hard to figure out what would need to be in the game and what wouldn't need to be in the game. Then that's going to be subjective to whoever you ask. What you think might need to be there is going to be different to what I might think, right? So to me, the wiki's the, the benefit of the wiki is it has the potential. To have everything. It's not always going to be right. 
Correct. And I don't mind that. I don't think that that's a big problem. And I think that if somebody wanted to play the game without the wiki, they probably could. You would struggle a bit, but it, I, it's really hard because I can still go back to how we used to play. We, there was no wiki. There certainly wasn't yeah. any loot filters. Now, I could never play this game now without loot filters. There's just right. no way. And I, it is weird to me that the default is what it is. Uh, and if you get, yeah, past like Act 5, Act 6, yep. that default filter is going to give you a headache mm -hmm. and make you struggle to pick stuff up. Well, I'm not sure a solution to that, though, other than them doing like what they do with the Xbox, where they take somebody's filter and they just make it the default. Well, yeah, I think there's improvements to be made on both both sides. Uh, wording of gems and nodes is extremely confusing. If you fine tune terms in POE, or even if you just have some terms in the help section defined, that would remove the dependency of the wiki, like st stuff like hit or damage. Like there's there's very key terms in the game, like when you're blocking, are you getting hit when you're blocked? I don't know. I mean, when you go to the wiki, you know that when you're blocking or not, you're getting hit, but it's zero damage. In game, you have no clue, right? So if there's certain terms that are defined, it's not a huge list, but certain terms are defined in the help section, then how you word things within your gems or with your nodes can be a lot easier. You know what I mean? You don't have to be about as picky and they're, I mean, they're limited to the amount of characters they can use to describe anything in the game. So, but then you're able to use that key term as a reference that's actually explained in game in the help section. But in terms of filters, I think the thing that's just the most frustrating and GGG, if you're listening, I, I really, really, really want to know why your default filter isn't available to the public. In game it is, but how is somebody supposed to use GGG's item filter and make their own item filter on GGG's website without a template. You have to go, like, you have to already, at that point, copy a third-party filter and go for it. GGG doesn't publicly make their filter available. So, somehow, the website that I use that I used to get GGG's default filter from, I don't know where they get it from. I've asked GGG support for the filter, where people get it. And they're like, I'm sorry, that's not something we make available to the public. And mm. so right away, I, like that whole dependency on the filter, even if you're making a crappy filter that nobody wants to use, and no offense to the person that goes through and edits it and does it according to the rules that they're supposed to, but even if you just make that available to the public, then anybody, whether they want to or not, has the ability to change it any way they want. You know what I mean? But that's not even an option. So you make that available to the public and all of a sudden you're not dependent on a third party filter because you can make your own. Yeah, you're still you're still dependent on third party though. Anything because you're going to have to edit that filter. Oh, I, if you so consider I, GGG's website third party to the game, then I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're you're, you're doing you'd have to be doing it outside the game. I think there's a lot of. uh other third party ones that I think are fun to play. I know we talked about them in Discord just recently too. Mm -hmm. uh, lot, lots of them are fun to play with. I don't, I can't think of ones that I feel, uh, besides the loot filter, I, I can't think of any that I find necessary or that I need. And I would actually argue somewhat with you on the wiki that you probably need it less now than you did when you were new. Mm -hmm. so and and that's not saying that that's justifying that it's not necessary because you want new people to play oh i played wiki 75 percent of my poe time i wish i could have learned it in game yeah i don't know I, I i i don't mind your idea of like there's this help section that gives you the basic structure of the wording of some of the you know terms used in the game but mm -hmm. I also still think you're going to run into a spot where you have to decide what do you put in there and what do you not put in there because one person might want to see something in there. One person might not want to put something sure. in there. And I think it's worked so far for them to be like, eh, somebody else will do it. Well, yeah, it has worked for them. It doesn't make it that it's uh, convenient to constantly be out of the game to learn the game. Yeah, you just but you get into a position of competing. 
and I'm not saying that that that's a bad thing because they did that with trade and their trade yeah. is yeah. much better now than PoE trade. But that took a while. Mm-hmm. That, that but their platforms are expanding too. You're not only PC now, and that is something they do need to consider with every decision they make now. Eh, no matter no matter the percentages, when you decide <laughs> to expand, what when they're going into mobile. Right. They're yep. going into this, that, and another thing. Who knows what mobile's going to be like and the depth of it. Apparently you're going to start right in mapping if they haven't changed anything. But you know, like as you expand your product, you have to consider what that product is like on every platform, not just your primary one. Yeah, but you're well, I think mobile's totally different because you're not going to have filters on mobile and you're not gonna the, the wiki is gonna be the same no matter what. But also in the end, PC's the only real thing that matters. So <laughs> Man, if I could add my custom filters to mobile. Oh. Yeah, so, mobile is going to be fun. It should be a fun thing to play. Now, I got into this conversation that we're having. I got into, I, I was conversing. They were arguing. This conversation started because they were saying that path of building is a requirement to play the game. What do you think about those types of third-party tools? I use POE Mate, not POV mate, I can't tell you how many times I've oh typed boy, in that POE can't be good. mate. And it's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, so, POE mate on mobile as my primary tree when I'm. I could figuring. never do the tree on mobile. I've I've played with those apps you've sent me before. It's an awesome app. Not for me at all. Um, path of building, is it necessary? No, but I feel like something, even if you were new into the game, something other than the default tree is needed because whether that there i can't remember what some of the other ones are but there's some websites you can go to to also build your trees Mm -hmm. i i think those are certainly helpful i think path of building to me one of my favorite things ever and one thing i actually really want to try is the fork i wish i've never actually given it time and i really want to get the uh pob fork and actually try it the i was I should show you this video that he sent me, but the amount of stuff that's in that fork that's not in POB is incredible. It's and it's actually part, like it, it's it's all provided by the POB creator. He provides the information to this person who runs this fork. Yeah. So it's I not saw, like you're dissing the creator of no, POB. No, no, he's totally fork. behind it. The amount of stuff that's added to this fork is just phenomenal. And maybe that would actually give me more reason to do more build setups in pob for me pob is a great way to plan my tree it lets me figure out without costing me a ton of regrets how i'm going to set up my tree you know Mm -hmm. where i want to structure things and for that part it's not necessary you could certainly play the game without it i we did for again i go back we did it forever it was a very Mm -hmm. long time before stuff like pob and those websites came out where you could build the trees so yeah, yeah. we really also had to re-roll a whole lot yeah. more yeah. than you probably do now. So uh necessary, no. Super, mm-hmm. super, super, super helpful. Yes. Yes. I think you'd actually yeah. be kind of I think it'd be foolish to try and play this game without something to help you with the tree. I think you would I think you'd just be giving yourself a headache. 100%. I, think, I think the addition of cluster jewels, it, I mean, assuming this goes core the addition of cluster jewels takes out a lot not not necessarily the value because i i use those tools as well just to min max my trees and see where i'm going to be um especially before a league is launched but the information's already out there right like those two days before league launch when trees third-party trees are available but the addition of cluster jewels is really encouraging blindly building your build right okay so you have a cluster jewel spot available you have no idea what's going to drop okay this one's all about damage oh shoot i got two cluster jewels on this one and now i'm going to keep expanding and you have to choose what you're getting rid of on your tree which greatly affects how you min max your progress i really like it i'm i'm really enjoying i the prospect of cluster jewels being added to the core game to see how people learn adjusting their trees and builds on the fly I'm excited for that. Yeah, but I, I, I feel like you're just making the game much more difficult for yourself if you don't use something to manage that tree in the beginning to actually figure out where you're going to go with it. Maybe, maybe, but 
to the kind of the head of the question, though, I think those tools are helpful, but not required. I don't think you need them to have a great POE experience. Whereas you need the wiki for a really good POE nope. experience. I'm going to argue you with you then on that one. I'm going to say if you think the wiki's necessary, then I, I would put it at the same level as path of building for some people. But there's so many mechanics that aren't explained in the game. Yeah, but almost every single one of those things that you're talking about with regards to how skills function, you'll find out that in POB because you can look through the calculations and actually see some of that information if if you're i would actually I, I kind of feel like if you think that the wiki is as necessary as you think it is it's really easy to see how somebody could say path of building is the same for them the path of building doesn't explain anything it yeah. shows you your choices it 100 percent explains things in fact there's some things you would never find out through the wiki that you need that calculation section in path of building numbers sure well that's a big part of it All right, but none of it explains mechanics you can't go into path of building and have a mechanic explained to you. You have to know the mechanic to apply. You might be surprised which gems show up to help a certain stat to her, like which support gems support a certain active skill and are good with it. But none of it will explain the differences with combustion or some sort of pro yeah, yeah. proliferation. It will though. And again, I think maybe you're looking at it from a certain standpoint of the thought in your head of what you'd be looking for when you read the wiki, but it has happened to even both of us countless times where we're going, why does this happen? Why is this happening right now in this build? And your only way to figure that out is not to look through the build and go, okay, you're running this skill, you're running this skill, let me look it up in the wiki. You pull it into path of building oh, and faster. you will find it in cal it I don't even think you could find some of that stuff in just by looking through the wiki. No, but my point, my point is, uh, let me use an example, exposure and just lowering fire resistance. That's not explained. It's just statistically shown. Whereas one actually explains it. Right. So that's, that's all I'm saying. That's all yeah. I'm saying. But I guess we can agree on though, that the filter 100%. Yeah. And I don't, I don't think the, you can enjoy the game with a default filter. Well, I, man, I guess it's a struggle to say that something's necessary to play the game is tough because that's again subjective. Maybe some people, I'll bet you, there's people who play the game without changing the filter. No, I guess they could be Z or left click happy, like you said. I would never want to do like big juicy maps. And oh my goodness, you'd never play con, yeah. play con <laughs> with the default filter, and you have to flick the right analog stick up and down to select. Oh, to the swap it. Oh my gosh. Screen. And oh, why can't I reach that? And then you know, like scoot up, and then all the loot changes, and you got. Yeah. No. Anyway. Nah, nah, I mean, let's, let's 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 move on. We're we're boring a lot of people now. I don't think so. I don't think I so. I think that was uh, that was good stuff though. But I did bring up Poe Mobile, and I'm actually really excited for it. I've been thinking a lot about it recently. I use mobile games like um, Hearth stone uh eternium godville i like to play those just while i'm you know doing the dishwasher or, you know doing my chores around the house and uh I, I can't wait for it to just be poe like it'd be awesome to like you know like clear a map slowly like i'll clear these guys okay i'm gonna put the dishes away here and then i'm gonna go in this section of the map like i just can't wait i just i would absolutely i can't wait I, have you heard anything they haven't said anything have they no I hope I, it comes out before PoE two. I hope it's not a tandem release. I hope it's before. I, I'm excited. I feel like just based on playing it at at Exocon, the mobile should be way way more ready for release than PoE two. And when we played PoE two, we played Act one, yeah, a, a section of Act like you know basically a yeah. section of Act one. PoE no boss, mobile right? because it's just maps. The the actual I mean not everything worked perfectly, but there's no content that has to be created for it. You know what I mean? Like PoE 2, it's it's all new content. Everything's new being created. PoE Mobile is not. That being said, PoE Mobile, is that going to be based just on Path of Exile 1? Those will be the only classes and ascendancy? Yeah, see, that's the thing. That's the thing. Are they going to bring those in? Uh, yeah. I don't think I'll ever play mobile. I'll get it. I'll download it. And yeah. it just, I don't play any, I have no games on my my phone. My kids hate my phone for that reason. It's also one of the main reasons I don't put any on my phone. I just don't, I don't want to play on a little screen. I don't, it, I, it's work. It's like, 
I don't like it. I use it for one, one or two reasons and then that's it. So, uh, yeah. it, I think it'll be fun. I think people will have a good time with it, but don't care. I can't wait. I can't wait. Oh. I'll be on it all the time. We'll I'm going to put a reminder in my phone every day. It's going to be part of my chores list to do a map a day. So do you have, when you, when you start a league or get going into a league, I have actually never asked you this before, but do you have goals? Like, do you set a goal each league? Do you have like something you aim for or do you just like, cause I know you like standard and you say you play league when we're playing league. For you, yeah. Do you have, when you start into a league, then is there any, like, have you gotten in like, so we three, what was it? The end game changed the last one uh conquerors mm-hmm. was yeah, last yeah. have you done end game stuff since then like the new way of getting to shaper elder uber well pale council is still the same uh besides the i think the fight maybe was changed i can't remember but the way you get into pale council is still exactly the same as before same with the yeah. theory do you have goals though do you have like things that you aim for doing when you play a league um well, because my leagues primarily revolve around you, my goal is to keep up with you movement speed wise or pray that there's a league like Delirium that slows you down. Yep. I could catch up to you. Nice. This league it was good. Um, I have to build my builds around like not killing stuff because you'll you'll get there sooner. So I need to be able to survive it, but then do good damage once we're in a boss battle together in term. So with build revolving around that, I think my my primary goal is just get as far as I can. Like I try and build my builds all the same anyway. You know what I mean? Great damage, great survivability, like everybody else tries to do. But I'd love to be able to uh, take on Cirrus, Awakener level 8, and be like, yeah, great, we did it. Uh, you want to do it again? You know what I mean? I haven't been able to be there yet. Last league, when Cyrus first came out, we played a ton on PC in my first build that I really wanted to push. My elemental hits uh, with, what was it? ballista totem support Mm -hmm. it really failed but i really tried to make it work so i wasted a lot of time really pushing it it was good to try it but um i think my goal is just to be able to do all content except for hologram masters you know what i mean but like uh, normal series fine uber series not that hard in comparison um shaper is the exact same fight that it used to be except it lasts a lot longer because the health uh, Uber Elder, I've never been able to properly do myself, but that's concussion based. Like the colors, there's a lot of are, stuff happening in that fight. Yeah, and I, I can't see properly in that screen. The colors are too like the the squidgy bits and the octopus thingies, and him. It's just I. It's 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 difficult. A lot of people that do my builds can do them, <laughs> but I I can't. Um, but I think right now, just because I'm still learning the Cyrus fight again, mm-hmm. uh, I think it would just be Cyrus Awakener level eight. How about you? How about you? What's, what do you have any goals besides I, having fun? I don't. I've killed all yeah. the end game stuff. Uh, the stuff with like Shaper, Elder, Uber. I mean, it's the same with Pale Council, at Siri, Uber, at Siri. Once you know the mechanic, it makes it a little bit easier yeah. to to do it. And then obviously, just how much damage you do changes that. But I I I just want to have fun. I don't have yeah, like man. any like big goal usually going into a league. Uh, I definitely oh. do not like to not be able to do content. So yeah. I it, I get really frustrated if I get a build that I'm playing with and I get towards the end and I'm just really, you know, I know it's a really strong build, but Essence Strain Contagion for me this league was just not working. Playing it within the league was just, the private league just did not work for me. Yeah. And I will say, going back to this week, I, you know, it's funny. You don't play a lot with uniques, right? Like you tend to play with the rares. I don't know then if you've ever had this feeling, but there are times in a build where you will get like one or two uniques that you can add into the build that you want or need. And yeah. it absolutely changes the feel of your build. And I had that this week. I bought two uniques off of, I think, KJ, one of the guys in our Discord. And it just puts you over that lip of like just yeah. barely doing it. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, finally, I can start to progress and push further with with it because of that. So uh, isn't it nice when you're you you see your build actually do well in a way like you, you think it's going to do well. You're sure you're like, oh, I, I, how come it's not doing well? And you're kind of discouraged. You're thinking about changing it. Maybe it was just my idea that didn't work. And then you get that one piece that confirms yeah it is a good build yeah it is a good 
Do you have that with rares? Because I don't find I, yeah. I get that often with a rare item. Unless it's a weapon, I can't think of too many rare items that will make me feel like I just push that point because they just don't have the same effect as like a unique does. There's nothing in a rare except all the new crazy stuff that you can craft and that can roll on it, I guess, that, but that are build defining. I don't feel. Oh, like yeah. Yeah, no, my trigger happy build, the block, uh, it's a max block gladiator that uses blade storm. And then I have my four links are all the trigger skills. And so it's primarily melee, primarily physical. The second that I got two really good steel rings that add the steel ring has the mm -hmm. bonus implicit for physical damage. And then I got what was it, a hunter's um oh what's the what's the base belt that does extra physical damage? No, like ah, the global forget. physical one? Yeah, yeah. What, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. It's I don't oh know, looks like a piece of cloth that's tied up in a knot. I can't believe I forgot. Anyway, I got that with a good implicit roll, and but it was a hunter belt, and it rolled. Uh, I forget what the new mod is, but enemies take something about reduced physical, like they they take more yeah. physical damage. Mm -hmm. when new, I forget what the mod is called. Anyway, I you know adding those types of items. Oh my, it it does wonders for your build it, it's so exciting when you get a like in my block build i have a mod i just got a mod that it show it's uh i have like a 10 percent chance to shock people when i block mm -hmm. it's like it's so oh my goodness then now that i'm doing extra damage and shock wasn't even a part of my build before wasn't even an option oh yeah it's awesome rares are the best they're good yeah. <laughs> the best Anyway, I guess one of my goals, though, would be to be able to do the because I, I prefer standard and I'm playing league with you. I guess my my primary goal would be to be able to do the league content. Mm. You know, what I mean? like it was awesome to do the simulacrum with you. That was that was really cool. I mean, I didn't get to level. Uh, I didn't get to wave 20 with you, but I, I, I really liked that. And I mean, Blight was just no wait, Blight. Is that the minion one with the pussy thing where it spreads out? Yep. Uh, what is your goal and standard then? To have fun. I play. That's it? Yeah. That's weird. I want loot. I play for loot. Grinding for gear game. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, we were talking about the loot filters. And I know it, it, like you try and not talk about loot filters, but it was a good thing that we had here going... That wasn't even proper English. For <laughs> is it your first language? Is it first language? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. Unless Don't I have split personalities. But I have a really good idea for GGG to clean up the amount of loot. Now, I don't know code. I don't know anything. But wait, you're looking at me funny. What? Am I like out of line here? Did I say something? Did I spit on the camera? Okay. So you know how, let me use, I don't know, um, uh, body armor as an example. Right now with body armor, there's like 15 different body armor types as you go through, like all the way from level one to level 72 or whatever it is. Okay. But it's like the same five pieces that are repeated over and over again. Does that make sense? All right. L let, let me, let me bring it up here quickly on the wiki. But like if I'm using, let's say an ax as I level mm -hmm. up, it's a different ax that becomes available at different levels. Right. So let me use energy shield body armor as an example. Mm -hmm. I can see there are seven different base types, right? Now, okay. most people know that the base type of an energy shield base or uh, the body armor base type that gives the most energy shield is the valve regalia, mm -hmm. right? But for that skin and that base type, then there's the destroyer regalia. There's the cabalist, cabalist regalia, right? It, it's the, okay. the sequence of seven base types is repeated three times as you go through. So you actually have 21 base types of ES body armor. I think they should just reduce that to the seven base types, have the seven ones, and they each have a reason to use them. One might have the highest ES. One might have, like, there's the occultist vestment that has increased spell damage as an implicit. Give others other implicits that might be tempting if you're not needing the highest ES base. You know what I mean? Like, have less base types per class. Makes sense? But have a reason to use each one. 
give people greater motivation to use each one. Like, for example, a body armor that has both armor and energy shield. One of them, you know, will have more armor than energy shield. The other one will have more energy shield than armor. Another one's going to have a good implicit, right? And then another one will have another relevant implicit, but that's different. That kind of stuff. But when you have the same seven base types repeating themselves three times, all of a sudden your screen looks ginormous. So if you kind of spread out when those can drop, maybe. So maybe. I, 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 I think I understand where you're coming from. I think the one thing that's a problem for is that I don't know how that how that would correlate to leveling because I'm wondering if you're looking at it more from a person who's playing the end game and wants to be, the thing is as you're leveling it's the same with especially physical weapons or when you're leveling you need to constantly be upgrading yeah. in order to maximize it it can be said to be the same for an ES chest because as you get higher in level the base ES on a chest is increased with each of those. If you only had seven in total, you just you, there would be a greater time between when you would get your upgrades or, or those well, ones that could drop with a higher base. Yeah, but so right now what they do is like every base type has a flat amount of energy shield that they get, right? Like yep. the very first robe, the very first ES one you can get is the simple robe and it has base 12 ES, right? Yep. If you change your base amount of ES, not according to the base type per se, until maybe later on in levels, if maybe your bottom four out of the seven base types all had the same base es but that base es increased with item level as opposed to just always being the same like a simple robe would always be 12 es wouldn't Maybe that still make the same amount of stuff drop though because you you would still be able to have a simple robe because a lower item level can drop in a higher item level area right so that's why you want less but that's why you want less items dropping. But there's no reason for me to care about a normal simple robe dropping in an 84 map. Right, which I imagine is what you would probably build into filters so that that kind of stuff isn't going to drop. I, right, I'm, I'm not, I understand where you're coming from. Like Part of the memory that they were sure. talking about too. And when they were talking about reworking Animate Weapon a couple leagues ago, it was the amount of loot that's on the ground and they'd love to be able to get rid of normals. If you had something like a simple rope that actually had its base ES improve as the item level improved, but maybe never capable of achieving more than the Valve Regalia, that might be something that, sure, you might be still using a simple robe over and over as you level up, but you're still capable of changing it. It's still improving, and there's a lot less normal on there. Anyway, mm -hmm. I don't know how it works on the inside, but I thought about minimizing the amount of base types and just having kind of like a fluctuating what's it called defense or perk that improved with item level it was just an idea mm -hmm. and that's it the end <laughs> uh, they definitely need to do something it's supposed I'm to be excited. coming in poe too i didn't yeah. notice it in the thing that we played we actually talked about it while we were there um, but I am excited for them to do something about all the crap on the ground. Hmm. Yeah, they said that they were changing armor quite a lot. I hope that doesn't just mean visually. I, I'm excited to see the differences of how they structure and tier all the levels and stuff. I, I hope there's a lot of good change. Well, they're just anyway. supposed to be playing changing. There, there's supposed to be something happening to loot in general to be mm -hmm. substantially decreasing how much crap falls on the ground. Hmm. Well, I'm excited. I can't wait. I can't wait. Now, do you know what 1.1 means? Like, why it's bad? There's, like, yeah, so there's a lot of game sites. I, I forget if it was on POE or not, but I was renaming my horse in Red Dead 2, and someone else was trying to do this in a different game. Apparently, 1.1 is vulgar. What do people use 1.1 or L space L or L dot L? For. Do you know in online terms, like you're the online guy every time I'm like, hey, what does this acronym mean? You're always writing back. Oh, you're such a noob. It's this. I've never I've never heard of that before. And I feel like prior to this going out, I'm going to have to Google it just so that we're not putting something out there that's like 
I've never heard of that before. I have no idea what that means. 1.1, oh. 1, like one decimal yeah. one. I wanted my horse to be named Sticky, but I was really attached to Sticky when I bought a new horse. So I wanted my new horse to also be named Sticky, but I didn't want them to have the same name or I'd get them mixed up in the stable. Okay. So I want to name it Stick. I want to name the first one Sticky 1.1 1. 1, and the next one Sticky 1.2. 1. And it wouldn't let you? 1.1 1. 1 was vulgar. It actually said 1.1 1. 1 is vulgar? Well, it didn't say 1.1. 1. 1. It said 1.1 1. 1 is explicit or vulgar or something like that. Anyway, it said I wasn't allowed to. And so then I changed it to 1.2. 1. 2, no problem. So it wasn't like a punctuation or a decimal thing. Anyway, I, I was just curious. I don't actually have a clue. I f maybe it's like an urban dictionary thing. Yeah, well, I, I mean, kudos to people that know all those crazy things so people can do that suggestive stuff to your online memes and games, but still. Anyway. It's numbers and a decimal. <laughs> I don't get it. All right. Finish this off with what are you, what are you talking about, HOGM? You know Hologram Masters. What about it? You've tried I it before. It. You finished it? No, no, no. I sorry, I didn't do it. I tried it. I attempted it. Oh. I I I not avoided it. I just keep the the map drops for me and uh I'm like, "Oh great. Oh, what a wasted map. I could have been any other unique map, but it had to be Hollow Grandmasters." I'm like, "Sweet." So I stash it. I saw the the stash list was getting pretty big. I'm like, "Oh, fine. I'll give it a shot." It's been like leagues since i've tried it it was stupid then so i'm like well okay let's give it a shot it i must know have gotten better oh my goodness is it stupid it is so dumb like those people that just can't like no matter how much health they have there's a the, like every single hit gives the maximum energy shield and you can't do anything about it you need a pure dot build to complete it oh my goodness it's so it's dumb fun. and like i'll go through and i'm crushing my zombies never die ever right i've even taken fortify off of them and i'm in the hardest i did oh man this map that i did the other day was 122 percent quality it was crushing it was awesome and zombies totally fine i go in here my yeah. zombies are like all dead instantly i i just the pvp scaling i just no, it's not fun. i it's not it's not i don't i've never single it out like i say my builds can clear clear the guide clear or i mean clear all content and they can I'm not going to every single time say except for hologram masters, but I it feel is. like that's just goes without saying it's, uh, it's to me. It's PVP. Terrible map. You can ex automatically exclude it. It's so stupid. Not I don't like it. I don't, I don't like the challenge of trying to build around a mechanic. That's only for one map. I have no interest in that. I, I think I've completed it maybe three times ever in the history of all my time. And I hate it every single time. Yeah. It's stressful as heck. Anyway, I don't like it. No don't like it all right i think that's a wrap we've we've pretty much hit on everything that happened in poe land that we actually care about there may be things yeah. we missed that you care about listening and that's all right <laughs> thanks a lot for joining <laughs> us for episode 25 of forever exile the path of exile podcast i am justin aka tags and i'm tyler wrecker of days if you're looking for any more information, you'll find it in the show notes below. We have a non-private Discord that you can join and hang out in. And uh, we have Twitter, ForeverXL82, and a website, ForeverXL.com. That's that's our existence on the, uh, the World Wide Web, as they call it. Thanks a lot for listening. We'll catch you in episode 26.